First of all, let me talk to you about timings. With any fungicide, we always want to be on the early end. By the time you see the disease, you're too late. You've already lost a bunch of yield. That's why you can't scout for disease and then spray. Well, you can, but at that point, you're just wasting your money. You've already lost a bunch of the yield. So what we would rather have you do is just think about what diseases am I worried about? When do they usually strike? We have not found that spraying in the vegetative stages on soybeans has paid in the past. We've run lots of trials. We've worked with lots of farmers who've run trials. Vegetative spraying, not so good. Once you get into flowering, that's where we see the big gain. We usually talk about two different segments. One is white mold, two is basically everything else. So with white mold, we like to spray right at R1, again, usually at R3 and at R5. If you don't have white mold and you're just going after general diseases and plant health, then usually we like to spray about as soon as you see the first pod in the field, so your late R2, early R3, R3 is technically first pod, you spray then, and if let's say the weather was great and you were really worried about disease, three weeks after that you could spray three weeks after that point too. But usually it's that R2, R3 timing, that's the one time when it's best for general plant health and general diseases in soybeans.